cloud retainer is so hot. <laughs> Not the main point of this video, but. Alright, what's going on gamers? It's me, Matt, here, and today I want to talk about Jean Yoon, of course. Jean Yoon is... It's, she's a very fun character to use. Like, yeah, the new Spiral Abyss, you know, it just got updated, and holy shit, the second half for the Floor 12 is fucking insane. It is going to be annoying, yeah, because look, Ruin Serpent... A Wee Nut, the Setek Wee Nut, and then, yeah, Aeon Blight Drake. I mean, Aeon Blight Drake is the easiest out of all the th all the th three. Yeah. So, my run was, I used, uh, I used this team. Is this the exact? No, I, I used this team, but instead of Farina, I changed it into, uh, Yelan. Because I needed the range, I needed a bolt character that can do charge attacks and plus... Uh, Yelan's charge attack is AoE, so yeah, it's for the Wii Nut. So if you guys didn't know, Jean Yoon's E ability has uh, three charge, right? So you can tap tap it three times. So one, two, and three. I have C. Oh yeah, if you haven't seen the clip, I did get C one pretty fucking early on. By the way, it was fucking insane. Like this is this was one of my luckiest pulls yet. Yeah, look at that. Both 50-50 wins. Yeah. I won for I mean I also won 50-50 on Forina so yeah four times in a row because before Forina I also got Kokumi which was another 50-50 win so yeah it was insane but anyways yeah you can tap it three times and then when you do a plunge attack when you do a plunge attack no matter how far you well I think it, it still depends on how far your enemy is, but you can actually uh, home or lock on to a target. So if I do this and then boom, see, it locked on to the target. So let me just boom. So yeah, even if I'm not looking away or yeah, I'm not looking at the enemy, it still does go far. But yeah, it locks on to an enemy and it's fucking nuts. It's so useful for the Wii Nut fight because... The Wii Nut actually, you know, uh, goes underground and then go to another location. And yeah, it, uh, sometimes the location is unpredictable. And instead of spr uh, sprinting like I did on this clip, instead of sprinting, I actually used uh, uh, Jean Yoon's ability to to get close to the Wii Nut. And then, yeah, you know, instead of sprinting and losing stamina, it is so useful. Like, holy shit. Plus, a new playstyle for my Hu Tao is, you know, possible thanks to Jean Yun. Yeah, so they're full health now. If I ult, my, uh, my, all of my characters will jump high. And this makes my fucking Hu Tao fucking nuts, dude. It became, it became basically Pyro Zhao. But I can only do it for, you know, like, what? For all plunges, I think I can only do it four to five times, depending on how fast I do it. It's still pretty insane. And also, for exploring, she's pretty good. Like, yeah, look at this. I have C1, so that makes it more... It makes it better. So, yeah, it's nuts. It is nuts. It's so fun. Like, it's... You know what? Let's test it. Let's go here. Boom. Boom. Ult. So yeah, charge attack, plunge, charge attack, plunge, boom. Done. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty nuts. Plus, plus, if I actually use uh, Farina's ult, I can actually gain fanfare very quickly. So yeah, that's another one because of Jean Yu's healing also. But the downside to that is my Hu Tao's not gonna be like very low health, so... She does enough damage even if she's not uh, low HP. It's still pretty nuts. For the build, uh, yeah, again, I'm using Old Sworn Eye. It's pretty funny. <laughs> A free-to-play weapon is better than most gacha weapons. <laughs> Energy recharge by 48% after using an elemental skill. So it doesn't matter if you hit an enemy or not. So if I use this, if I tap E, then you can already see that. And then I think the buff's there. Yep. 
<laughs> See? And it's for 10 seconds. Does it have an interval? That's my question. No, it doesn't. Oh, so it's actually better. Anyways, for the artifact set, I'm using a four-piece Veridesa. Most of the time, if I'm using this team, this exact same team that I'm using right now, Hydro will be uh, the one that's going to be swirled instead of Pyro. So Hu Tao won't benefit much. Instead, Furina and Zingcho, or in the case of the team that I use on ABS, Yilan and Zingcho will benefit more. For the talent, yeah, I'm still working on that. Yeah, she's not even max ascended, dude. <laughs> I'm still working on it. It is so hard to get these. Like, I need to find more players, but I can just wait. I've marked up pretty much most of the f uh, spots. Well, that's not it. Yeah, most of the spots that I need to farm them for. I already have a route, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> that is so fun. So yeah, that's basically how I use this team. But oh my god, I only had to fuck. And that's also a shit one. But yeah, anyways, yeah, that's how I use that team. Dude, it's just so awesome, dude. I'm in love with Sean Yun. Plus, her C1 gives you an extra charge on her E. So that's another benefit. Yeah, Sean Yun is a blessing in disguise. C1 Jean Yun, actually. <laughs> That's my second uh, C1 limited banner character. Yeah, C1 limited banner character. My first one was Hu Tao. Yeah, I got her. Well, I actually did win 50-50 on her constellation too. But my luckiest was definitely Sean Yun. I won both 50-50 on her and her copy. So, yeah. I basically just summoned for a lot for Hu Tao. I saved up like what, 400 summons? So, yeah, Shan Yun, pretty good, pretty solid, pretty, pretty good and fun character. Plus, exploration will be easier. Plus, her cooldown on her E is actually not that, like, not slow at all. If you don't use her passive, or. If you don't use her normal uh, plunging attack when you use her E, then her cooldown will basically decrease by 3 seconds. So, if you're exploring, don't use her uh, plunging attack. Don't use this, basically. Because you get a free 3 second uh, decrease when you don't. So, yeah, make sure. If you're, if you're just out and exploring the world. I mean, it's up to you, honestly. But if you want efficiency, then yeah, just don't. <laughs> Anyways... That's it for this, you know, my thoughts on Sean Yoon. She's very, she's a very good character. And she's very easy to build too. She's very easy to build. Yeah, Verdescent is very easy to farm for now because you get the strong box thingy and then you can just trade, uh, trade in your shit artifacts for, uh, you know, sometimes stronger sets. But yeah, that's it. That's it for today. That's all I wanted to talk about for Jin Zhan Yun. I keep saying Jin Yan, goddammit. I just... I, Shan Yun. Shan... It's because their name is almost similar. But yeah. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Bye gamers.